Jump! Hey guys, Craig here. Welcome back to more Paper Mario Fast in your door. In the previous episode, we completed the Glitz film. In this episode, we're going to be going um, doing the post chapter stuff. To start off and finally find out how to get this, I think. Yes, I was right. So, there we go. We got a Shine Sprite. Now we're going to go back to Rogue Port. Because there are also some Shine Sprites to get there. So, this is not going to be Paper Mario Fast in your door this episode. Today it's going to be Paper Mario Sunshine, because we're going to be after um, some Shine Sprites. Yes, that was a horrible f name, but that'll be the title of this episode. So the last episode was actually um, live. Live on Twitch.tv for the charity stream, which didn't end up being 24 hours, because in the end I never got one donation from a YouTuber, which is quite sad. But... Um, I'm going to turn it into ch um, live stream month, so a couple of nights this month, maybe starting later on this month, though, I will be streaming every night, and hopefully I'll be getting some donations, because it was the wrong time zone, I think, was some of the main problem. Okay. Well, number one, I'm going to swap back to Yoshi, because I'll need him for a couple of things, I think. Oh, oops. I think I'll probably get the email from Peach in a wee minute. It's the reason I didn't want to really start off in Rogue Port because there's some I need. Yeah, this here. Gonzalez, got an email. Yeah, he calls you Gonzalez still. Dear Mario, I've un uncovered something terrible. These things, the X not for trying to take control of the world. It's not. It's TN, but. It's too bad end that they're looking for the crystal stars. I still don't know what the crystal stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather information I can't, Princess Peach. Well, we'll do also in the real world, that would stink. What else do you think we're actually gonna do? Oh, we're gonna collect crystal stars and I'll be it. Yeah. So, before we go to the fires near door, I'm gonna cut until I get each shine sprite. Sprite so wait. First of all, I might try to get him over to this guy because he's got badges. Hammerman. Nope. 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 No. Oh, we still got a really bad selection. So where I'll see it. Shine sprites. Okay, then. I think over here. Yep. Here it is. Here. Our first shine sprite, so I'll see you at the next one. Also, something here I haven't said yet is that over here now, there is, as you might say, oh, well, there's also a shine sprite here, which I, was, which was actually unintentional this time. Unintentional shine sprite in the shine sprite searching episode, perfect. But well, what I was actually here to say was, you can get, this is a shortcut to the other levels, and once I've now got the Ultra Hammer. Which will be, which will be far easier. But either way, wait, let me just check if I'll need the next tier of Hammer for here. Yes, I will. So either way, on to the next Shine Sprite. Okay, there's a badge over here, which is the FP+. Plus. Okay, down in the room of the bubbles, there's a shine sprite down here. The easy way to get to it is from the plaza. If you're at the plaza and you have the store already unlocked, like I shown, which I've already shown away in my last play, you'll be able to find it easily. So either way, on to the next shine sprite. Okay, and so, this is another curse you can get after a battle. If you've done, um, it will actually like triple, like double the amount of coins you can get. I'm not really that useful for these kind, for, for these enemies. But either way, we'll just start on. We'll go back to the shine sprites. Okay, and I got a level up from that battle that we just struck first in. Just good, cause now we can level up our HP. Probably something I need. Cause. Of 
No more game overs for Craig. Hooray. Mario can't be less star next battle. Mario's crowd and stage with the bigger. That is good. So hooray. If away. Now to show how we get that giant sprite. Okay, it looks like we'll need to use the airplane ability to get it. So hooray. It isn't actually that difficult to get. I'm just a bit slow whenever it comes to those puzzles. That's it. So either way, on to the next shine sprite, which will be near Flurry side. Okay, I accidentally find a star piece here. So there's one behind this thing here. It seems like I've actually already gotten all the shine sprites. I can't find one. It says there's one in the upper level of the glitz pit storage room, but I can't find it anywhere unless I've already gotten it. Meh. But that's good then. Also, um, the promoter said um, a bit of dialogue before I, you know, came in here is like, Oh yeah, you have to, Miss Julian's now the, um, the manager and all, blah 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 blah. I'll put that thing on screen right now, unless I can just talk to him again because he says this. Yeah, at least that, he's a huge fan of mine, so, meh. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, but, well, now it's all just time to go over to the Glitz Pit Shine Sprite area. So I'll cut whenever I get there. Oh wait, before I go, I just noticed something. It's shine, there's this um star piece there. So now it's just time to go over now. Just one little look around glitz bill because it's so beautiful looking. Okay, now I'll see it's all back shine sprite place. Okay, and now that we're here, that's his par um power up our partners. Luckily, we've only got two more to go. Yes. So it costs three shine sprites each. So I'm guessing it makes, uh, makes sense if we've got max amount of like um, shine sprites if there's six and we've got two partners to power up. So I guess it does make sense. Either way, here we go. Coops is now powered up. Can I power up more? Yep. And we'll power up our final partner. Shazibi! Shazubi! Very Venny Mago. So that's it! Our partners are now powered up. He's now got 20 HP, Coop's now got 15. Wow, oh, Coops, you're so bad. We got 15. La, 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 la. But before we end off the episode, because we've still got a bit more to go, I think we've got plenty of time now to think about it, because most of that stuff what I did will be cut out, so it's probably only about four minutes into the episode or something like that. So let's see, it's all back to Fies near door. Oh, but hold on here. There's one more block I actually forgot about. So now that we go up here. Or is this a shortcut to fasten your door? That's the shortcut. Oh, wait. But before we do anything else, let's go over here and investigate this. Something I probably should have done a wee while ago. I think I know where it goes, but I just want to make sure. Number one. The awesome look at the fasten your door as you fly past. Does it? Yeah, it just brings us over to here. Let's just... Uh, oh, but there's also a shine sprite here. Apparently, I didn't have all the sp shine sprites. I'm almost confident that I don't have them all in Glitz flavor. So, either way, let's go on for the pedestal. I'll be quiet.
The location of a crystal star is being recorded on your magical map. Hey, that shows where four crystal star is. Can't frankly read it. It'd be cool if we f if we first tell him what Princess Peach Emil said, right? What? Group of kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world dom domination. <laughs> that's a, that's right. Those jerks need our legendary treasure. Hmm, that doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across hell was a preposterous theory. The book claimed the treasure was actually a great cataclysm. Very cataclysm a thousand, about a thousand years ago sank the town underground. So these jerks think the power of a cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they think. They think all day. What, what they all day are, and, are why, but we must consider a possibility. Now the things came to, to this. We mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters. If we do get, then once again, this town. No, the entire world could be destroyed. But I have it, Prof. Let's go get find an extra star super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it appears an extra crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? Tell you the truth, I don't know about much about the place, only rumours. I've heard that the name implies it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Aha, there appears to be a pipe in Twilight Town and a rope work. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, come back and see me again, okay? Under the ground west of Rockport? Check. Got it. Got you, Professor. Come on, Gonzalez. Let's go. Time to break out. Also, in here, we'll find scrap paper of garbage of info by Macho Grubba. So, yeah. Now you got Macho Grubba's stuff. We got an email. Oh, something I forgot to mention, I just noticed is. Macho. If you look at Grubba and you compare him to Tubba Blubba from the first game, you can notice that like for his huge similarity. So West of Towns, yeah. Can we just destroy this? Nope. Wait, how are we supposed to get, go on? <gasps> Is that a shine sprite? Oh my god, it's star piece anyway. Let's go buy some more off him. Hmm. Let's see what he's got. It looks like. It's most exp oh wait, right. well, I actually got quite a lot. Just noticed. Pure happy floor. That could be. That could actually be pretty useful. I want like I want one that's called like Zap Top or something. I don't know, but I don't think he sells here. No. Yeah, nothing. Oh, actually, you know what? That's that's a very useful badge. Wait, that's a seven BP. Dear God. Well, yeah, those those badges will just be bought. I probably won't use them yet. But you know what? Either way, I'm gonna just cut until I buy some more badges and do a bit of a badge arrangement, so I'll see you back in the series. Okay, I was a bit of an A last time. Whenever I said go to the West part of time, um, West, uh, Rogue Port series, probably should have went to the West. Which is here. There's, oh, there's a Shine Sprite here, perfect. Can we destroy this or is it just because it's stone we can't do anything? Nope, we can't do anything. And in here, the twilight lets us go on free. <coughs> Pipe rejected you. So you might be wondering, what are we supposed to do now? The thing we actually have to do is... Well, guess we could do this out. Oh. Come on. I'm a Nintendo player. I should be able to do 2D platform. Forming. Oh, okay, I was just bad. I'll admit. Not. It's nothing too difficult here. 
it's only for one star pace, so it's not. Well, I guess I have to go for every star pace anyway in this let's play. Don't really have to, but I want to. Up. Okay, that was just a shortcut. I don't care if it took, took 1 HP off me. But. Well, I haven't showed down here before. So, the way to get out is just here. And, for what you might be wondering, what are we supposed to do now? Well, I don't know how, but my first playthrough, I actually kind of understood what to do before. Like, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do, but I was just like, yeah. I remember I just saw like a secret about five minutes before, and I was like, if I just fought myself, you know, maybe I have to do some of the secret. So you don't actually have to go to Professor Frankly. See here, I shown this off a bit before. It looks like Bandy Andy. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I remember I saw this guy, I was like, wow, he looks kind of like dark and eerie. So I had to talk to him. Hi there, near him Starkly. Do you guys need something? Uh, you want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? <laughs> Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something with faster name written on it. Don't you have anything with faster name written on it? Come on, everybody does. No? Really? Okay, hang on, I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it down to Satan your overalls. Mario. Fair, perfect, Amando. While you're at it, I'll write your partner the same too. What's your name? MHG, baby. Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. Don't know what Aaron's sticking to Twilight Time, but I hope it goes well. I'll be reading for you. Yes, so that's how we do it. I've already gotten a thing up here, I think. So either way, I'll see us back at the pipe. And now we'll go for even pipe to Twilight Town, finally. <laughs> Chapter 4. Huh. Four pigs for bell tolls. Ugh, this place gives me creeps. Is this twilight time? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You come from far away? Yeah, clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? It's about time to arrive. Wait, but your adventures. Maybe it's the perfect time. <clears throat> we want a bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. This whole scary tale. The scary tale to hear. And it... And scary to tell too. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Point, point, point. Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, bad, this poor freak got turned into a pig. Not good. Oh wait, who are you, Gramps? <coughs> hey, where are so tired? You can tell me dear. Not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe they're adventurers, right? We said to place for talent heal sadly. Come, come to my home. Damn I probably shouldn't have went in. My travelling friends, welcome to Twilight Time. Well I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, but and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, there are times to be cursed. What? Well, cursed? Yes, cursed. That's the right word, isn't it? Yes, of course it is, you see. Beyond the town of the forest, then in the heart of an ancient building, a creepy steeple. A dark creature lives there. It's a curse of genes that when steeple rings, all the twilighters living in the town here becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly tail doinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. I'll give you some advice. Leave us. Leave us before you get to... If you... Before you two get pigified. Now, look. 
Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Now you've heard of it. It's a star it's a star shaped rock called Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know about a crystal star thing, but in creepy staple, it's a big glittery red stone shaped like a star. What are you serious? That's gotta be a crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking about going to creepy staple, are you? Brrrr, unthinkable. Yes, yeah, so and now I will end off the episode. By the way, how come the most one of the most beautiful things and 3D looking things in a game? I just know some. I know why they look so different because this is a paper game and they're 2D and these are 3D. Ah, uh, so anyway, thanks guys all for watching. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you guys all next time. Where we'll be making our way to the creepy steeple because there's a crystal star in there. So hopefully see you guys all then. Bye.